Hello there. <laughs> it's me, Fanula. Teardrop. Actually, it's me, Flower Child. Five, six, seven, and uh, I'm streaming much. Hey, big guy, watch where you're going. I'm streaming much later in the day because um, Bethesda was doing a maintenance update on our wonderful Elder Scrolls Online game. And it sort of decommissioned us for a bit. And then I had other activities scheduled. And guess what? This is my first opportunity being able to get here. And um, I don't even think I'm going to have many people here today. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being um, by myself. And uh, I am really okay with just enjoying some time. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm here in Stornhaven, um, in the Owl Care Castle, because as you know, I have been doing um, the quest, the uh, Daggerfall Covenant quest line. So, so let's talk to this guy right here. Let me show you which journal, which uh, journal I'm quest I'm doing. Life of the Duchess. Dame Balhut was apparently behind the assassination attempts on Duchess Lakana, and we must apprehend her quickly to ensure the Duchess's safety. I should tell Sir Hughes about Dame. Falhut's betrayal. So I'm going to talk to Sir Hughes right now. Sir Hughes. I trust you've earned the Duchess confidence by now. That's good. Have you been able to learn why she was conspiring with her father? Yes, yes. She feared her life. After the attempt on her life, that makes sense, but why go to her father? The Knights of the Flame are here to protect her. It makes no sense. Why would he send an army here? The assassin's poison came from Alakir. The Duchess said so herself. Well, yes, but it was Dame of Falhut who purchased the poison. Dame Follett. Are you... Are you certain? Follett. That's a grave accusation. Of course she was opposed to the marriage. We'll have to question her, but sending a Knight of the Flame to apprehend her might not be wise. Okay, I can do it. I was hoping you might volunteer. That would help avoid a scene. Follett's <laughs> home is north of the inn. If you'll go there first, I'll get some of my men and come as backup. Okay. Um, I will see you soon then. Let me just hit this bookshelf. Stagger and sway. Oh my. Liz, I got that. Anything over here I need to know about? Either of these need to be talked to? No, it's just me and my trusty Isabel. Isabel, Isabel. Me and my trusty Isabel. Um, okay, let's uh, look at the journal entry, the quest. And Dame... Oh, okay, Sir Hughes asked me to go and apprehend Dame Fahut on, Fahut on a, cha a charge of treason. I'll find her residence north of the end. So let's, let's see where I have to go. Oh, that's not very far at all. At all, at all. No, it's not very far. Okay, let's go out here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I suppose everything is stealing. Everything that I would do in here would be stealing. Dilly. Okay. Let me go this way. And then I'll go that way. And then I'll go this way. Let's see, she's over here. Oh, cows. No oh, cow. No oh, cow. There's a guard. Knight of the Flame. Not a guard. He's a knight of the flame. He's a 
Big guy. Look at these people here. They're doing it out there. All right, let's go on in. Okay. Oh dear. Hey you. If this ah! is what it's come down to, then yes. so be it. Where'd she go? I got knocked down. Aha! We took care of her. That's pretty good, don't you think? I think that's pretty good, yeah. Okay. This is nice. So, Aurelia and I used to go camping like this on high nice. isles. Seems like a long, long time ago. Yeah, okay. Well, let's raid. Oh, it's all empty. Wow. Everything has been raided. Hmm. Someone's been here already. There's a bookshelf. At least I could get that. All right. Now let's see what we have to do, shall we? Let's see, Dame is dead. Sir Hugh said that he would send Knights of the Flame to support me. I should I should look for them outside Dame Falute's house and report what's happened. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to go outside right where I'm at. Okay. Any of you important? All day long I work as a carpenter. Then I get to come home and oh. work at my house. Okay. Well, where'd that other girl go to? She she took off, didn't she? Oh, there she's walking out there. Let's go talk to her. Hey, you don't want to talk to me? All right, fine. Don't talk to me then. Mm -hmm. Let's go talk to this guy down here. He looks important. Because it, it, he is, it's Sir Hughes. Hi, Where's Sir Follett? Hughes. Did she run? No, she attacked. I killed I'm her. Sorry to hear that. Uh, you did what had to be done. And I suppose uh, her reaction merely proves her guilt. Mm, yes. They, that's very true. So, thank you. I wish I could say there was no longer cause for concern. Somehow, though, I just don't think that's the case. Something about all this just isn't adding up. Well, I agree. It's hard to believe Fault Fal was acting Indeed. alone. I would very much like to discuss this with you further, but not inside the castle. My home okay. is past the market. If you'll give me a moment to settle matters here and check on the Duchess, I'll meet you there and we can talk. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm. Okay, so now... Now, there's another quest started, and it is the safety of the kingdom. Dame Falut is dead, and the threat against Duchess Lakana is over, at least for the moment. And Sir Hughes asked to speak to me privately at his house north of the market. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go there. See, right over there in the corner. Not very far, just a little walk away. So let me just take a quick peeky, peeky, peeky. Hey! Yes, they finally got the server up. Isn't that awesome? Hey, Madness. Hey, T-Jar. So I am, I'm streaming at an irregular time, but I figure, okay, well, whatever. It's better late than never, right? Better late than never. All right, so let's head over there and get that guy. Let's see, which way do I have to go? I have to go the other way. I have to go this way. Let's take a little stroll, shall we? Bum, bum. Hmm. Hmm. We're just going to walk up here. Delon's Mill used to grow the sweetest berries in the spring. I wonder where we'll get them from now. Oh, I don't know, Isabel. We'll have to figure that out. 
Just enjoy the scenery as we walk. Check this out. Mm, they're kind of cool looking. Okay. There's a kitty cat in the grass. Meow meow. All right, enough of that. Oops, I just <laughs> Well, whatever. Enough of that. I'm I'm going to go. There's another kitty cat. Maybe this is kitty cat. Kitty cat heaven. Hello. You Did Sir Hughes send you to kill me? No, 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 no. Why would I want to kill You're you? Not here to... Oh, merciful Stendar. Lakana. Sir Hughes is checking on her. She's no, safe. No, she's not safe. Hughes is going to kill her. He's crazy. What? Something about his dreams. If you don't believe me, check his journal. He was writing all about it. First, though, untie me. I have to get back to the castle and warn Lakana. Okay, hold still. Go, go, go. Let me check out this journal here. It's Sir Hughes's journal, so... He's talking about Alakir Castle burning. These are his visions. He thinks he's going mad. And um, he's dreaming about Lakana. He thinks she will eventually betray them. And he has to stop his nightmares from coming true. So he went to talk to her, but she's having doubts. And... And then Vahut botched the job and killed the poor food taster. So she can't be trusted. So too many innocents could get hurt. Only Lakana should die. And then King Faharajad has sent an army to our gates. Or to his gates. And he believes his dream is coming true. So Rain's hand, it's all clear to him now. The vision is a sign for him. And him alone and he must do this by himself and he asks the divines to forgive him but this is for all of Alcare. yeah he's gone a little nuts I'd say so I think we do have to go protect do have to go protect her so we need to um, reach Duchess Lacana before it's too late and we have a hint, Sir Hughes has been having nightmares. He saw visions of Duchess Lacona betraying Duke Nathaniel and taking over Alcare. So that kind of explains everything. And um, the task is to find Duchess Lacona. So where do we go for that? It seems like she's right here. Maybe outside. Let's go check outside. Let's see. gods they've murdered the duchess what they've murdered the duchess where are you they must be upstairs oh this is gonna be horrible if they've murdered her what is it oh no This her body is still warm to the touch, but the blade in her back bears the sigil of the Knights of the Flame, and this weapon obviously belonged to Sir Hughes. Oh, Duke Nathaniel! She cannot be dead. 
This cannot be real. My Lakana. You! You spoke with her, didn't you? What do you know of this? Tell me! Sir Hughes is responsible for this. Sir Hughes? Was he mad? He was supposed to protect her. How will I explain this to Lakana's father? To his sister? Lakana would never hurt anyone. She was innocent, my beloved wife. Mm. I don't understand. Sir Hugh served me for so many years, loyally, faithfully. Why would he murder my wife? His dreams suggested that Lakana would destroy Alcair Castle. Dreams? That maniac uh, murdered my wife on the basis of a dream? He will yep. die for this. You must help me find him. He's probably gone to Firebrand Keep. Please, do it for Lakana. Find Hughes and kill him. I'll find him, Your Grace. King Baharajad will be devastated. He'll want someone to answer for this. Yes, of course. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, so... Um... Tracking Sir Hughes is the next part of the Zone story. Sir Hughes murdered Duchess Lakana in Alcair Castle. I promised Duke Nathaniel that I will track Sir Hughes down to answer for his crimes. The Duke believes Hughes returned to Firebrand Keep, southeast of Alcair Castle. I should go there and ask the Knights of the Flame if they've seen him. So I'm going to travel out there. There is a, there is a, well, let's go down there first. We'll come back for the, okay. Nobody cares. Okay. I can't seem to get ahead here. All right, so we're going over this way. Okay, come on, Isabel. Ah, there's a stable first. I have to get some food for my beast. What? I adore Excuse my horses, me. but I can be persuaded to part with one for the right price. Oh, I just need I just need some food. That's all. Thank you. Okay, come on. Let's make sure we're on the right road. I should get onto the other side. Um, but we'll go this way for a, Comrade, a little a word. bit. No, no, no. Okay, um, this, this is the Wind Ridge, um, warehouse right here, and you can see there it's a, uh, crafting area, and it is for the set Twilight's Embrace. Twilight's Embrace. And it looks like it has everything. I'll show you one more time on the map so you see where it's at. So up here is Windridge Cave and we're right we're right there and we just came out of Alcair Keep. Okay. Alright, let's get back 
back on our horse. Am I going this way or do I need to go the other way? Yes, this way. You there, in the name of the Knights of the Flame, I ask your assistance. Yes. You there, if you respect the name of the Knights of the Flame, then I would ask your assistance. Okay. Bandits are masquerading as members of our order and then robbing people blind. Oh. I will come back to you, but... I, I really do want to just go take care of this. I will come back to you. You're looking for Sir Hughes, aren't you? Get in line! Yes. We've been waiting for him to come and clarify our orders for days. He returned, all right, but mumbling incoherently. Know what that means? Just more confusion. I think Hughes has lost it. You're right. He murdered, he murdered Duchess Lacana. The Duchess is dead? Hughes yes. killed her? Oh, for yes. Mama's sake, I didn't think he was that crazy. I guess he that is. explains why his orders were so confusing. Good thing we didn't march on the Red Guards at Alcare Castle. Yes, it's a good thing. So indeed. I guess if Sir Hughes killed the Duchess, then crazy or not, the Duke is going to want him to answer for that. I guess this means we're going to have to find a new leader. Well, um, where is Sir Hughes now? Do he you went know? into the keep. Sir Croy might be protecting him, though. Finding Hughes may be difficult until we clear up all the confusion here. You should talk to Sir Edmund. He's just up the steps. Okay, thank you, thank you. Taking a stand for what's... If you've come to Firebrand Keep to petition for help from the Knights of the Flame, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Why? Our leader, Sir Hughes, seems to have gone mad. Yeah? The Knights are divided over whether or not to follow his last order. You don't follow him. Sir Hughes is mad. He killed the Duchess. This is far worse than I thought, and makes our cause all the more critical. Sir Hughes just returned to the keep, acting strangely. He's in there with Sir Croy, who is making preparations to attack the Red Guards at Alcair Castle. No, we have to stop Indeed. them. Myself and these others were exiled for standing against Sir Croy, but we are too few at present to retake the keep. There are other knights in the keep who are questioning Sir Croy. Could you go in and look for those who would join us? I'll rally knights to the cause. Okay, so we're at fire. Firebrand Keep. Let me look at this journal real quick. Because now we have started the Flame of Descent. The Knights of the Flame are divided over whether to attack the Red Guard army at Alcair Castle and Sir Croy and other knights would potentially destroy the Covenant. They need to be stopped. I've agreed to rally knights to Sir Edmund's cause. Sir Edmund asked me to find knights in Firebrand, keep still loyal to the Duke, and send them to Edmund. I won't know which knights are loyal to Sir Edmund until I talk to them. So I have two tasks. Um, the first, well, the first is a hint. Any knights loyal to Sir Croy will do me to the death, so I have to be prepared. And my main task is to convince knights to join the cause, and I have four. So you can see the area that I'm going to be going to, which is right down the road. Well, hello, you guys. <laughs> you haven't missed anything. All right, let's go see what we have to do here. Okay, who's this? Let's see, maybe... This is a knight if of the Sir flame. Hughes really wants us to go to war, I'd prefer he told us himself. Well, the plan to attack the Red Guards is wrong. Help Sir Edmund and retake the key. You're right. This doesn't make any sense at all. My duty is to do what's right, not to blindly follow orders. I'm with you. <laughs> That's awesome. 
<laughs> oh, I don't mean to laugh, but um, to blindly follow others, and she's following me. Oh, look at apples. Oh, I'd be stealing. I don't like to steal. Um, okay, I know, I know, I know. I would never make a great... Okay, hi, you guys. Knights of the Preparing the entire order to go to war isn't easy. This is going to take some time. <laughs> the plan to attack the Red Guards is wrong. Help Sir Edmund and I retake the key. You're right. This doesn't make any sense at all. My duty is to do what's right, not to blindly follow orders. I'm with you. Thank you. Thank you. Where's that other guy going to? He's, or, oh, I got... Okay. Two for one. I got two for one. Look, and here's another. Who is this? Is this a... Let's see. Hello, Knight of the Flame. This is not a good time for the Knights of the Flame to be divided. The plan to attack the Red Guards is wrong. Help Sir Edmund and re I retake the keep. You're right. This doesn't make any sense at all. My duty is to do what's right, not to blindly follow orders. I'm with you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I got, I got the Knights again. So now let's see. I got to talk to Sir Edmund. So I gotta go back outside and down the road just a tad, and um, and talk to him. This is this Sir? Yes, he's right here, Sir Edmund. I knew more Good of my news. fellow knights would come to see the insanity yes, Sir Croy yes. means to unleash at Alcare Castle. Yeah. I think we have enough knights now to retake the keep. I've sent them to take up strategic positions. Uh, yeah, I think we have enough knights now to retake the keep. Oh, yeah, I, uh, are we ready to attack Indeed. <laughs> Taking up arms against our fellow knights is something I know none of us wishes to do. But Sir Croy has forced yeah. this upon us. This is unpleasant okay. business, but let's get on with it. Okay, let's go. I've told the knights positioned around the castle to attack on our signal. There's a siege horn mounted atop Firebrand Keep's main hall. If you are willing, I would ask you to go there and blow the horn. That will signal everyone to attack. I'll blow the horn. Be ready. All right, so now we are retaking Firebrand Keep. So um, I have to go up there and um, blow that horn. So let's see where I have to go. Over here. Not too far. Not too far. I'm going to assume I'll be able to see where I'm going in just a sec. Up there, maybe? Yeah, probably. Nobody tried to kill me. You guys. Okay, here's Sir Edmund's letter. Fellow knights, no matter what Duke Nathaniel plots, we cannot betray our oath. Only if he moves openly will we move against him. If you stand with me, listen for the horn. I don't, I don't think we should be worried about um, the Duke. I mean, he's maybe really upset that his wife's been murdered, but I don't think that he's going to try anything. All right, here is the Great Hall Siege Horn. Ooh, now that's a horn. All right, now let's go back and talk. Hi, human outcry. Nice to see you. What is it? Sir Edmund. We caught them by surprise, and I think we have the upper hand. I've been wounded, though. I don't think I'd be of any more use in the battle. You've done enough already. I've done what I could, but I failed to find Sir Croy. Now I fear he would best me quite easily. I need you to do this. I believe the other knights will stand down if we can defeat Sir Croy. Will you face him for me? Where do I find him? He's in the Eastern Garrison. Kill him. Put an end to this. There's another siege horn on top of the garrison. When Croy is killed, blow that horn. The knights will pause, and I'll use that moment to call for an end to the fighting. 
Okay, all right. Hey, everybody. Thanks to Human Outcry. I'm here to remind everybody right now, right now, before we go out and fight or do anything more, get up and stretch your body. That's it. Stretch your arms. Wiggle your toes and stretch your legs if you're still sitting. And uh, do a cat stretch. And uh, T-Jard is redeeming stretch too. So keep stretching everybody. Stretch, bend over and touch your toes. That's a stretch too. You know, stretch your arms, stretch your, roll your head from side to side and around. That's a stretch too. Oh, you're all doing so good. Especially if you've been sitting all day. And now, you guys, now that we are all stretched and limber, we're going to go kill Sir Croy. Yes, we are right there on the map. See right there? We're going to head out and kill him. So, are you with me? Let's do this. Looks like there's some fighting up here. Get ready. It's going to help. That's it. That's it, Isabel. All right. Get rid of Sir Croy's. Get rid of Sir Croy's fangs. Oh, no, you don't. This is the friendship gate. You're not supposed to be enemies on the friendship gate. Aw, thank you, Lavender. Ugh. Let's kick some butt. Where's my friend Lee says, let's kick ass. Aid me. Oh no, no, no. All right. Okay, I think we have two more to kill. Yes, we do. Right here. Dead and deader. Okay. Now. I guess we can come over here. Just, just keep killing. Nice. Oh, I hear someone else saying attack. No, don't attack. Play nice. All right. Let's just move around in here for just a second. Oh, someone's attacking right there. Healer. Nope. That's why healers get killed, you know. Right there. Are there any other thing? Let's get this guy. Hey! Sir Croy, my nights to say rebellion. hello to my little friend. I'm going to enjoy Prepare this. to die. Dead. All right, 
let's see if there's any lore books before we head out. Everything, everything is stealing. Wah. Okay. Where are we? Well, okay. Let's see. Let me let me look at the journal first. Okay, so um, we taking Firebrand Keeps, or Crow has fallen, but battle still rages in Firebrand Keep. I must blow the horn in the garrison that will signal to Sir Edmund that Sir Croy is dead and his knights may stand down. So that's where I'm going right now, to blow that horn, that big old horn. Yep. So I guess it's going to be over here, up here, out on the balcony, probably. <gasps> there it is. Okay, get ready. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. Okay, now i we got to go talk to Sir Edmund. I think he's outside, probably. Yep, right there. So, let's go out. Let's go down and out. We'll go down that trap door. Get down quick. Excuse me, coming through, out of my way. There he is. Sir Edmund. I grieve for Sir Croy and all those who died fighting for him. But there was no other way to save the Knights of the Flame. Thank, Thank you. you for doing what I could not. You're so welcome. <laughs> so the battle's over? Indeed. With Sir Croy slain, I am assuming command of Firebrand Keep for now. Needless to say, preparations to march to Alcare Castle have been called off. Okay, that's great news. Thank you for the Flamecrest Hammer. Killing my fellow knights to restore order was hard enough. But this matter with Sir Hughes is unthinkable. He's down in the infirmary. I'm told he was raving about killing the Duchess before he fell unconscious. I... I don't know what to do. Well, I'll handle it. The Duke sent me here to find him. Then I suppose you must. Whatever crimes he may be guilty of, you should know that Sir Hughes was always an honorable knight. I simply must believe that his recent actions are caused by some form of insanity. Okay, I will take that into account. Where's the infirmary? The infirmary is below the Great Hall. Speak to the healer there, Odette. Get her assessment of his condition. Again, I would plead with you, if his actions are truly driven by madness, show mercy. I will do what needs to be done. All right, so now we've started yet another quest called Sir Hugh's Fate. And it, of course, is also one of the zone stories. So after Mew, um, oh, I guess I'm still, I don't know. This is like a chapter of it. So I'm going to go just go visit the infirmary, which is right down here below the Great Hall where we are. Who's this? If you were wounded in the battle, go see Odette in the infirmary downstairs. She will see that your wounds are treated. Thank you. All right. Did you hear that the Great Shackle was destroyed? Great shackle was destroyed. 
Odette. I fear Sir Hughes may already be too far gone. May the Eight watch over his soul. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Mm. Let me talk to her again. If you are wounded, you may take a bed in the corner. I will tend to you as soon as I can. I'm here to see Sir Hughes. I'm sorry to say that Sir Hughes is in no condition to talk. I tried to help him, but this is simply beyond my ability to treat. It seems to be some type of curse. He came in mumbling to himself, and soon he was just... gone. May I at least examine him, then? I do not think you could cause his condition to be any worse, so you are welcome to do what you like. I warn you, though, curses like this are very unpredictable. If you start to feel dizzy, I would suggest stepping away. Okay, thank you. Uh, that was interesting. It took me, it took me to Alacare Keep. So I've completed the exam and now I'm exploring the castle's upper floor. Oh, this is a weird, a weird quest. Um... After murdering Duchess Lacana, Sir Hughes fled to Firebrand Keep. If I've come to confront him, and if necessary, bring him to justice for his crimes, I've somehow entered into Sir Hughes' dream. The dream world appears to mirror Alacare Castle, where the murder of Duchess Lacona took place. So I'm going to explore the castle's upper floor here at Alacare Castle. Well, let's see what I find. The Duke should not have wed King Farajan's daughter. The Duke's marriage was a mistake. He's put us all at risk. King Farajan is planning to invade our care. Duchess Lakana is a spy. Lakana has everyone fooled. She and her father are plotting against us. Duchess Lakana is orchestrating an attack on Alcair. She must be stopped. The Duchess has betrayed us. I have to stop her. Whatever it takes. Oh, so now we get some more detail and depth to our story. Let's see, should I go up here? Perhaps? I know what you are planning, Your What are you Grace? doing here? Leave my room at once. I won't allow Alcair to fall into Redguard hands. Alcair in Redguard hands? Tears are set. You've gone mad. I'm sorry. But this is the only way. No! Please! What have I done? So it was you, Sir Can't... Hughes. She deserved it, didn't she? I know she did, or I think I know. Is this real? This is a dream. No. It's a never-ending nightmare, whether I sleep or not. I killed Duchess Lacana. The omen whispered in my mind, poisoning my thoughts. Now it tortures me, forcing me to watch the murder again and again. Who or what is the omen? The omen of fear. Always with me, always whispering, telling me about the Red Guards, about Lakana. I believed it, but it was lying. I murdered an innocent woman and betrayed the Duke. 
Now it's hiding, but it's not gone. Well, how can we stop we it? You have to kill it. You have to kill it. Mm. My sword. In the dream, I left it in the throne room. The omen is drawn to it. Find the sword and find the omen. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's go down to the throne room and see what he's talking about. I don't think I'm on. Oh, yeah, here's the throne room. Sword of Sir Hughes. Let me investigate this. I can see your fear. Oh. So is. Uh, I gotta fight him. This is like Hermaeus Mora before Apocrypha was even considered. Before it was even an idea in your. Parents of minds. We're just a glimmer of possibility. Like any baby born. Well conceived, I guess. I don't know. Hey. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, 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 uh. Hello. You killed the omen. May the aid yes. bless you. My mind is free, but my sins remain. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right, but not absolved. I ordered the Knights of the Flame to rebellion. I murdered the Duchess. Yes. I betrayed the Duke. Yes. These stains on my honor cannot be washed away. Let's leave this nightmare. Come on. Let's get out of here. Get some fresh air. Breathe. Look at the sunshine. That'll help clear your head. Oh, but we're still inside. <laughs> okay. We're in the infirm infirmary. Duke. Sir Edmund sent for me and I came as soon as I could. Sir Hughes does not plead for clemency, yet he says his mind was not his own. He was under the influence of a Daedra, but it's dead now. As strong as my anger may be, I sense truth in your words, and some change in Sir Hughes's character. But he murdered my wife, and for that I can find no forgiveness. Then you will have him executed, Your Grace? He asked me to take his life and restore honor to the Knights of the Flame. But my emotions are too strong. I cannot trust myself to make the right decision. You were in his dream. You saw what drove him to murder. You must decide his fate. Oh dear. Well, on one hand, I say let him live. He wasn't in his right mind. But on the other hand, I say he should die for murdering an innocent woman. I mean, insanity. Ha. <sighs> I think he has to die for murdering an innocent woman. I'm sorry. Then Sir Hughes will have his wish, and Lakana will be avenged. Go ahead, Sir Edmund. Forgive me, my old friend. One clean blow. Strike swiftly now. Ugh. All right. Sir Edmund will stay on as leader of the Knights of the Flame. He is a good man and loyal. Though I fear I will never trust anyone fully again. And now? The honor of the Knights of the Flame has been restored, and Lakana's murderer is dead. Yes. However, nothing can bring my wife back. That is very true. Thank you for the honors, Guardian. The skill point. The Though coin. the immediate danger is past, I fear this might be more than an isolated event. Mm. Sir Hugh's driven mad by nightmares, and I've heard the constable in Coglin Village was similarly affected. I can know more 
about this so-called omen. Where would I find such knowledge? The spirit wardens of Pariah Abbey. They dabble ah. in Daedric rituals, but they're benevolent. Mm -hmm. Speak to Brother Moron at the Abbey. Ask him if the appearance of this omen should be cause for wider concerns. If so, we should warn High King Emmerich. I'll find Moron. All right, now I've also leveled up. Uh, I'm going to step over here for a minute. So I'm at level 35 and I'm going to claim that now. So item upgrading. And I can choose either elegant lining, grain solvent, or mastic. Hmm, woodworking, blacksmithing, or clothing. I'm going to go for clothing because, yeah, just because. All right. Okay. Nice. And I got two more magical points. <laughs> now I have three to play with and to spend. Nice. Okay. Um, let's go outside here. Let's get out of this castle. Or am I going into the Great Hall? Let me see where I'm going. Yeah, we gotta we gotta run out. We gotta run out. Okay, breath of fresh air. Stand here in the garden, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's look at the zone map for a minute and open up the zone guide. So, um, ah, let's see. We just finished all of that business about the Duchess and the Kingdom and Sir Hughes and the Firebrand. So... Now, it looks like we're going to be going into fire in the fields. Um, so we've got, we're almost halfway through all of the Stormhaven um, a zone story. I have quite a few of the Way Shrine still. I have six, but I do have another delve. To find look at all these points of interest I only have five so far there's the public dungeon that I'll go into that's connected with the, the bone snap of runes conqueror three Munda stones still one more set station and uh, I've got three of four our three of sevens have four more points of interest. One more dolmen. The ancient altar. World boss. Oh, I have. Look at all these sky shards. Oh, it's raining sky shards in Stormhaven. <gasps> look at all these lore books. It's raining lore books in Stormhaven. Let me see where I would go. Unsweetened answers. Okay. Unsweet. Oh, un <laughs> unanswered questions. Um, that's where I'm heading. But I should have this also in my journal. So let's look at that. Yeah, right there it is. And I'm going to stop here because this is where I will start um, next time we join together. So... And look at Catwell. Mm -hmm. Nope, Catwell. None of the none of the silver is is involved in here, which is really kind of interesting. Because I I I know where we're going is part of the gold, so maybe it'll qualify though. All right. Oh gosh, I am. Um, a little out of sorts today just because of um, not being able to do my normal time so that's the way it's gonna be right that's the way sometimes it happens so I want to thank you for tuning in and for those of you who are viewing the YouTube channel video, defend yourself then thank you thank you thank you 
And for those of you in Twitch who are viewing the rerun, thank you. See you guys tomorrow for the Ebonheart Pack Theater Hour. Uh, th our theater Loyalty will time. prevail. So, and that will feature myself as Silent as Stars and um, Defend uh, yourself, T Jard um, as Malice in Doril. So, see you tomorrow. Be there or be square. Take care, everyone. Oh, thanks. Uh, thanks for tuning in, T Jard. See you tomorrow. All right, everyone. Have a great rest of your Tuesday.